As my time comes to an end in Kyoto, there's one more thing I have to do before I leave the city. And this is probably one of the most photogenic shrines, or at least as I've been told, but I guess I'm about to find out for myself. I mentioned it before and I'm gonna say it again, but Kyoto is amazing because it still holds most of its traditional Japanese roots that dates way back, which is pretty cool to see. It's about 7 a.m. right now and I am making my way to the last shrine I want to check out here in Kyoto. It's called Fushimi Inari Shrine and it's about a 30 minute, yeah it's about a 30 minute commute ride from here. I'm going to be taking the train and the train station is just 10 minutes that way and then yeah and then after that I'll be heading to Osaka. So. Today's gonna be fairly busy, I think, because I also wanna check out Osaka at night. And Osaka is known for its, it's essentially the food capital of Japan. And so I can't wait to try out all the foods that they have available in Osaka. But right now I gotta go check out the shrine. I am hoping, it is still, it's still fairly early. I am hoping that no one's there right now so I can get my content and soak in the beauty of the place, but it's another chilly one this morning. <laughs> like, it is so crazy because I haven't, well, I didn't pack anything warm. I essentially just have a hoodie and a plaid shirt, but that's not even, yeah, it doesn't even keep me warm. But anyways, it's, it is what it is. Masks are not mandatory, but everyone wears it here in Japan still. I'm not a fan of masks, but out of respect, um, I just wear it in the trains. But yeah, it sucks. It brings back, I wouldn't say good old days, but just not a fan of it. Alright, so I just made it to Fushimi Inari and that was quick. I, I think I got here in an under 25 minutes or 20 minutes or so, but there's not that many people here so far, which is nice. I hope it stays like that for the next half hour. I know it sounds selfish, but if you know me, you know I like to have the place to myself, so. The Fushimi Inari Shrine is one of the most important shrines dedicated to Inari, the Shinto god of rice. There are many fox statues on the shrine grounds as it is believed foxes are Inari's messengers. And in addition, this shrine has ancient origins predating the capital's move to Kyoto in 794. <laughs> So I just finished taking photos and videos. This is the spot to be if you're gonna be taking photos and videos just because there's less people here. People tend to stop right up front or right in the middle. And I kept going up towards this way, towards the end. And this is where I did my shots. So I highly recommend if you're gonna, if you wanna get some shots of yourself alone where there's barely anyone, well, for one, come early, and the second one, if it is get if if it does get busy, go towards the end, and then I'll do the loop again so I can show you guys, so I can show you uh, where people are taking photos because it's right in the beginning and halfway through, everyone just stops and starts taking photos. So, highly highly recommend going towards the end if you want photos and the spot uh, to yourself. You know, highly recommend it. But this place is so unreal. It's beautiful. Okay, so it's essentially just one big loop. Uh, I think, yeah, so it's just one big loop. This is the entrance. And as you can see, a lot of people will stop here to take photos right away. First of all, you don't want to do that because if you take photos from here, the words or the writing, the Japanese writing is not going to show. So you also want to be facing that way for that to show. 
but okay obviously now there's not that many people here but there are a lot of people earlier just stopping here because this is the entrance I'm just taking photos so you want to avoid that you want to keep going straight as more foot traffic comes through the shrine i thought i was done here until i saw this map this place is actually huge look at this i think actually i don't know where we are i think we're right here and then i definitely want to go up there i had no idea I don't know how long it takes to get up there, but I'm feeling ambitious, so we'll see. I guess we're going for a little hike first thing in the morning with no breakfast too. But I didn't even know this place was that big or that it had a viewpoint or that it was on a hill or mountain or whatever. But I guess that's where I'm going now. It's so unplanned, but I gotta check it out, you know? I gotta catch my breath. Uh, okay, the sign says to the main shrine, which is essentially the top of the hill. It's about nine minutes away from here. And then there's another place, apparently with a nice view, <sighs> towards that way. I think I'm gonna go to the main shrine first, go check it out, and then go to a place with a nice view. That wasn't bad. That was actually, well, that was quicker than I thought. Although I had no idea about this place from the start anyways. In the very beginning, I didn't know it was this big. I thought literally where I took photos, that was it. Because that's all I saw on any photos or videos online. That's the only spot that I saw. <sighs> Made it to the main track. What is it? It was about 20 minutes to get up here. Although I didn't take any breaks, so it might be longer for some of you or faster. It really depends, but. I think right now I'm gonna go to that place with a nice view. And then I'm gonna continue making my way down and then have breakfast because your boy is hungry. And this walk up this hill or hike, whatever you wanna call it, unexpected. Should have done my research, but it is what it is. I didn't even know this place is that big. I literally thought it was just where I took photos down there and that's the cutoff and you do a loop and then do a little, that's it, nothing else. But nonetheless, your boy is hungry. Another early day. I need to grab breakfast after this for sure, so. This is the route to the place with a nice view. Better not disappoint Japan. You haven't so far though. Japan hasn't disappointed me at all. It's honestly one of my favorite countries and I plan to come back here at least once a year. So I don't think this is the way to the place with a nice view. I'm slightly shocked because towards there, that's the exit, I think. I'm actually not sure, but it's literally going downhill. So it doesn't make sense because I can't see the view if I was to go downhill. You know what I mean? I'm gonna make my way back up and forget the place with a nice view and then head back to the main area because I think this is this is essentially the way out. Hi, do you speak English? Yeah. Uh, is there a place with a view there? Or is it just the exit? Uh, we weren't, we didn't fall all the way down. We were just hanging out a little bit. Down is there a view or no view? There's somewhat. Because there's a sign that says, there's a view down there, but it doesn't make sense because if I kept going downhill, 
how would you get the view? So. Yeah, I was uh, I was up there, but there's also a sign saying that there's a view in this area. Oh. But okay, as I figured, fuck, the people back there said there's no view, which makes sense because I was I've essentially been going downhill. But overall, though, this place is so nice. Look at this. There's little stores and homes. I think it's like a little village. People actually live here, which is also very nice to see. So I'm back at the main area. I'm gonna spend a couple of minutes down there just to check it out, just because I, I rushed up to the spot where I wanted to take photos first thing in the morning, just because there were a lot of people. So I'm gonna spend a couple of minutes and after I'm gonna head back to my place and then head to Osaka. This says 40 minutes to the top, but so I technically ran up, I think, because it was about 20, 25 minutes. Okay, I'm back at the main entrance, and the amount of people here is insane. There's no way you're gonna be able to take a photo of, it, of this thing on your own, because look at this. Like it's shoulder to shoulder, and it's about 9.30 right now, just past nine. There's definitely more people here, so I highly suggest coming here between seven to eight, because otherwise you're gonna have to deal with the crowd, but overall though, get up to the hill too. Highly recommended. I think I'm gonna get some takoyaki. Uh, sorry? Takoyaki? Uh, six? Six? Yeah. Yes, four pieces. That's about four Canadian dollars. Breakfast of champs. This man's just put octopus inside the balls. And that sounded so bad. And then this is, it's butter. Butter? Milk? No, uh, milk. Uh, what's, what's the ingredient? Ingredients? Uh, translator. Translator. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That looks so good. Is that cornflakes? Tempura, right? Yeah, oh, tempura. Oh, yes. Oh, right, yeah, it's tempura. Oh, you can eat it? Okay, okay. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Arigato. Oh, it's good. Okay, so the ingredients is flour, egg, Japanese soup sock. <laughs> And chicken bone. Mmm, okay, arigato. Okay. <laughs> yes. Shout outs to Google Translate. Oh, no bag, no bag, no bag. Oh, it's hot? Okay, yes, yes, okay. Okay. Hi! Okay. Arigato. Takoyaki for breakfast. Oh, damn it, it is really hot. And I also found a coffee machine. I've seen this a lot everywhere here. I think I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't know, that looks very intimidating. The fact that it says, that was the train. The fact that it says morning shot and then you got like this aggressive just design to it, you know? I don't know. I think it's this one. Come on. Let's see. Oh damn, it's hot. 
like it's legit hot. It's essentially a coffee. I thought it was gonna be cold, but that's, that's cool. I'm gonna have this with my takoyaki. Breakfast of champs, essentially. Oh my God, it's sliding down. I gotta put it down. This is what I'm having. God, what a day. Those people were so nice at the stands. Even when I was speaking English, she pulled out the translator just to just so she could answer me because obviously like, she didn't understand me. But people here in Japan are so nice. That's one of my favorite things here in this country is how polite and how kind the people are. It's just amazing. And now, for the moment of truth, mm. that hits. Takoyaki, mm. oh my God, it's so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta take a photo for the IG story, you know? Eating it in front of a you gotta see my view. I'm eating it right in front of the tracks. Just because this was the only seat I could find. And here in Japan, it's considered rude to eat while you're walking. And so I had to find a, find a place to sit down. But other than that, I'm gonna enjoy this. Head back to my place, check out, grab my things and then head to Osaka. I grab my things I headed straight to the train to make my way to Osaka I'm gonna end the vlog here so make sure you subscribe to my channel to see my adventures in Osaka and give this video a massive like thanks for watching and I'll catch you in Osaka tomorrow